Hello everyone. Hope you are doing good. Welcome to this video lecture on game theory. In this video, we are going to discuss about the introduction about the game theory, important terminologies used, assumptions of the game, different solution methods like pure strategy game and mixed strategy game, and in detail about pure strategy solution procedure. First of all, we have to define a game. All of us definitely know what a game is. We played so many games from our childhood. What is the fundamental nature of a game? Yes, it is a competition and it, it involves different strategies and another important aspect of the game is that whenever you want to play a game, you require a partner. So a game involves multiple players, that is at least two or more players. So the game is a competitive activity and it involves number of strategies and multiple players. And of course, you will look to win the game. When you are looking to win the game, you are looking to maximize the profit. So, a game can be defined as a competitive activity between multiple players in which multiple players compete to maximize their profit according to a set of rules. Okay, what is game theory? It is a branch of knowledge that deals with making decision and the approach of the game theory is to seek and determine a rival's most profitable counter strategy to one's best move. Hence, it helps in determining the best course of action of an industry with respect to the expected counter moves from the competitors. Next, we will get to know about important terminologies used in game theory. Player. The competitors refer to as a player. A player may be individual, a group of individual or an organization. Next is two person game or n person game. If a game involves only two players or a competitors, then it is said to be two person game. If number of players are more than two, then the game is referred to as n person game. Next is zero sum game or non zero sum game. In a game, if the sum of the gain to one player is exactly equal to sum of the loss, losses to another player, it is said to be zero sum game. That is, the sum of the gains and losses equal to zero. Otherwise, it is said to be non-zero game. Next is strategy. The strategy of a player is the list of all possible actions that he will take for every payoff that is outcome that might arise. And the player know in advance all the strategies of this player and the operant player. Okay, what is pure strategy? What may be your goal as a player? You always want to maximize your profit, right? If you have one particular strategy which will give more profit regardless of other player strategy, what will you do? You will only choose the particular strategy throughout your goal, right? This is called as pure strategy. The objective of the player is to maximize their game or, sorry, gains or minimize their losses. Next is mixed strategy. Here, the player has to use all or some of his available courses of action in some fixed proportion so as to maximize his profit or minimize his loss. That is, if there is five number of times he has to play the game, two times he may use his first strategy, one time the second strategy and two more times his fourth strategy and so on. And the optimum strategy. This is a particular strategy by which a player optimizes his gains or losses without knowing the competitor strategies. So this is called as optimal strategy. Next is payoff. The outcome of playing the game is called as payoff. 
Then pay of matrix. It is a table or matrix showing the outcomes of different strategies of the game. A pay of matrix is given here, which is a pay of matrix of a left hand side player, that is player X. If there is a positive value in the matrix, that means gain to the left hand side player and loss to the other player. For example, if X chooses strategy X2 and Y chooses strategy Y1, then X's gain is 32 rupees and Y's loss is 32 rupees. Next, the assumptions of the game. And in this video, we are going to deal only with 2% zero sum game. So, the number of players involved, only, involved is only 2. <coughs> the assumptions are, <coughs> there are finite number of competitors, that is 2. There is conflict of interest between them. Each player has available with him finite number of possible strategies or courses of action. One player attempts to maximize gains and the other attempts to minimize the losses. And both the players know all possible available choices but does not know which one is going to be chosen. Players simultaneously select their respective courses of action. Their payoff is fixed and determined in advance. And the players have to make individual decisions without direct communication. These are all the assumptions of the 2% zero sum game. Next, we will discuss about different solution methods of game theory. We know that there are two different strategies. Pure strategy and mixed strategy. So, we have different method of solution for both the cases. If the game is, has saddle point, then it is pure strategy problem. If not, it is said to be mixed strategy problem. We have different methods for different size of the game. If we have 2 by 2 matrix, then arithmetic method or algebraic method can be used to solve this type of problem. If we have 2 by n matrix or m by 2 matrix, then graphical method is used to solve this problem. If we have m by n matrix, then linear programming method is used to solve this problem. Then, rules for 2% zero sum game. Rule number 1, we have to look for pure strategy, that is saddle point. We will see how we can uh, um, check whether the saddle point is exist or not in the forthcoming slides. Next is, if we have a uh, saddle point, then the problem ends there itself. If we don't have the saddle point, then we have to go for rule number 2. That is, we have to reduce the game by dominance. By using law of dominance, then rule number 3, after uh, detect, uh, that is, uh, reducing the game by using law of uh, dominance, then we have to solve it for mixed strategy. If a mixed strategy game uh, could be reduced to 2 by 2 matrix, then we have to use arithmetic method that is actually called a shortcut method. If it is reduced to 2 by n matrix or m by 2 matrix, we have to use graphical method to solve the game. If it is m by n uh, game, uh, then we have to use linear programming method to solve the game. This is a flowchart of game theory. The entire procedure is available here. First, we have to write the payoff matrix. Then, we have to apply maximum and minimax principle to find whether the saddle point is exist or not. If there is a saddle point, we have to identify the value of the game and write the optimal strategy of the player. If there is no saddle point available, we have to check whether it is a 2 by 2 matrix or not. If it is a 2 by 3 mat 2 by 2 matrix, then we have to solve it by using analytical method, which is a shortcut method, or algebraic method, or 
we can use matrix method is also to solve this type of mixed strategy game otherwise if it is not 2 by 2 matrix then we have to use dominance rules to reduce the size of the matrix after reducing it we have to again check whether it is a 2 by 2 matrix or not if it is 2 by 2 matrix again we have to apply algebraic method or analytical method or matrix method to solve this type of mixed strategy game otherwise we have to check whether this problem is 2 by n matrix or m by 2 matrix if it's so we have to use graphical method to solve this type of problem otherwise we have to formulate and solve as a linear programming problem next pure strategy problem here pure strategy problem first uh, we should know what is pure strategy problem that is if the uh, saddle point is present then this is said to be pure strategy problem for uh, finding out the saddle point we have to use ma minimax and maximum principle uh, here uh, example problem is given we have two players player a and player b and there is a payoff matrix uh, if there is a payoff matrix it is always the payoff matrix of the left hand side uh, player so here it is the player a is the left hand side uh, player so it is the payoff matrix of player a and if there is a positive value that represents gain and gain to player a and if there is a negative sign that represent loss to the player a and this is opposite to the player b first we will see what is maximum principle that is uh, here one of the player has to maximize his minimum gain another player will minimize his maximum loss always the player a want to maximize his minimum gain and player b want to minimize his maximum loss so maximum principle is applicable for player a so first we have to find out the minimum gain of all the strategies then we have to select the maximum among that that is actually called as maximum principle next is minimax principle here we have to find out the maximum loss for uh, player b in all the strategies then we have to choose the minimum among that so that is actually called as minimax principle next after finding out the maximum point and minimax point for both the players then we have to look for saddle point if the maximum value equals to minimax value then the particular game is said to be uh, said to have a saddle point that is equilibrium point and the corresponding strategies are called as optimal strategies And next is value of the game this is actually called as expected payoff at the end of the game when each player uses his optimal strategy and there are two different types of uh, games one is actually fair game another one is strictly determinable game if uh, the game is said to be a uh, fair game when maximum and minimax value is equal and both is equal to zero and uh, uh, the game is said to be strictly determinable when the maximum value will be equal to minimax value and which will be equal to value of the game which is not equal to zero uh, next we will uh, see an example to find out the saddle point uh, here the, there are two players and both the players have two strategies a uh, player a have uh, two strategies that is a1 and a2 player b have two strategies uh, b1 and b2 first we have to find out the maximum value for that we have to select the minimum element in each row minimum element for the first row that is a1 strategy is 4 and for the a2 strategy is 3 then 
after finding out the minimum of all the rows then we have to choose the maximum among that that is actually called as maximum value here the 4 is the maximum value next we have to find out the minimax value for the player b for that first we have to find out the maximum element in each column here for b1 strategy the maximum element is 4 and for b2 strategy the maximum element is 6 then after finding out the maximum element of the column then we have to find out minimum among these values 4 is the minimum among these two values and that is the minimax point of the player b after finding out the maximum value and the minimax value we have to find out the saddle point that is if this maximum value is equal to minimax value then we have the saddle point for the particular problem and that element which is equal to 4 is actually called as value of the game and the corresponding cell here it is 1 comma 1 cell is actually called as saddle point so the value of the game is 4 and the optimum strategy for the player a is a1 and the optimum strategy for the player b1 b is b1 so here another example so here we have two players first player both the players have four strategies and here first we have to find out the row minimum value for the first row the minimum value is 12 for the second row the minimum value is 8 for the third row the minimum value is 2 and fourth row it is 0 then we have to find out the maximum value that is maximum value among the row minimum which is 12 12 is the maximum value for this particular problem then we have to find out the minimum max, uh, minimax value for the player b for that first we have to find out the column maximum value for all the four strategies for first column the maximum value is 40 for the second column it is 15 and for the third column it is 12 and for fourth column it is 35 and for finding out the minimax value we have to choose the lowest element among this so 12 is a minimax value and here the maximum value is equal to minimax value and which is in turn equal to value of the game which is 12 and the optimum strategy for the player a is first strategy and for the player b is third strategy i think now you can understand what is pure strategy problem and how to find out the saddle point and value of the game and the optimum strategy for both the players now it's time for tutorial please solve this game and thanks for listening in the next video lecture we are going to learn about uh, law of dominance and graphical method of solving the game theory thank you